name is Trayvell Anderson. I use they, them pronouns. I am a journalist, an author as well now, a podcaster, and I have like 12 different jobs, you know. Yes. So the name of my book is We See Each Other, A Black Trans Journey Through TV and Film. And I've been working on the book for about a year and a half, two years. Um, it was a very long process. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Research-wise, a lot of it was watching a lot of the films um, in particular that have, you know, trans or gender expansive characters in them. Um, and then, you know, taking copious notes of things that I wanted to bring up in my criticism. But part of it was also delving into kind of my own personal story and personal journey. The book is part history of trans images on screen since the beginning of moving images and part memoir. And so I kind of had to, you know, ride this line of how do I go about telling this history while also weaving in the story of my own personal becoming um, right alongside those very images. I would be most interested in, so after every chapter, I have these viewing guides, which list a variety of movies and shows and web series that I think people should check out. There's even some podcasts on there that I think people should check out. And so I would be interested in how the book club might incorporate, you know, some of the viewing, some of the screenings so that they take, you know, what is written in the book and actually like apply it right to the things that they're watching on screen. My writing is inspired by a desire to correct the record. Um, as I mentioned, I've been a journalist for the last decade or so, and a lot of the work that I do is about ensuring that in 10 years, in 15 years, in 20, 30, 40, 50 years, when someone like me goes into the archive to figure out what life was like today for trans folks, for Black trans folks, that they will have a fuller picture, right? Because I feel like even in the process of doing this book, a lot of the archival work that I was reading, that I was looking at was incomplete because people who live and love and exist like me weren't part of the storytelling, right? Um, and so that's what inspires me is, is to correct the record, right? So that those who will come after us will know and have a more accurate picture of what life was like for us as trans folks, as black folks, as queer folks today. Thank you.